Hey, what's everybody? Brent for Brent Speed. Thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. Today it's a 21 GT that we've had in here before. Runs a Roush Phase 2 Supercharger, the new mod, forced induction inner chiller. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what it does. We'll watch the dyno pull. But hey, if you haven't, please subscribe and notify to stay up to date. Let's go check it out. All right, this particular client races this car 10 16 a quarter mile, which is really sweet for an automatic, a 93 octane convertible running the 50 state legal Roush phase two supercharger. So what other muds? Well, I'm telling you that, Doug, come down and take a look. Roush phase two, 2650, 50 state kit, factory exhaust manifolds. So the exhaust is stock. We also have a carbon fiber drive shaft, upgraded half shafts, and the forced induction inner chiller. Well, you just saw the engine compartment. You can't tell it's there. Everything's down here, but what is it? It runs in runs current basically with the air conditioning system. We run these on Whipples, Kenny Bells, Roush kits. It's a killer way to lower your IATs dramatically because you're using the AC system to cool your coolant, which cools your intercooler temps. So we are gonna watch this down a pull. This car makes really, really good torque. But how this operates is when you turn your AC on, you're constantly cooling your IAT temps, which is what's really great if you're a racer, you're a road racer, you're running any type supercharger like this, the cooler intake temps are gonna make more power. But I'll go check out this dyno pull. All right, I'm gonna explain why these graphs look the way they do, because they do look a little bit weird. But this car always has been a bear on the dyno, blows the tires off when you go wide open throttle. You know, every time we make a pull, the torque is so instant on this kit, it wants to spin. So what we're doing is we're getting to the throttle really slow, honestly not even wide open to between 4,000 to 4,500 RPM. But 50 state kit, Dynojet SAE, automatic. 666, 6800, 664, 6800, then backed it up. Killer torque, 576 and 581. And keep in mind, that's off a of 50 state kit. So what's that mean? You're running the Roush calibration. One more look at this convertible right here. No idea by looking at this car. It's a 10 second car, but it is, I love it. So like I said, last time out, 1060s. That was with just no inner chiller. So it'll be really interesting to see if on the big end of the track, that helps make this car faster. But it's definitely gonna help if you're making back-to-back -back passes. Maybe you're a bracket racer. You don't get a lot of cool down time. You gotta get right back up to the line. Or if you're a road racer, if you are, you know what this means. That would be killer on a long road course. So I'm Brent from Brent Speed. If you have any questions, leave a comment. You like something like this, you email quote at brentspeed.com to say, What's it cost to get installed? Like I said, you have a Whipple, Roush, Kenny Bell. These kits are available. We have a different variety of brands as well for a lot of variety of years, but this is the Force induction inductionchiller. Thanks so much for watching.